This video is about a man named Phineas Gage who had a metal rod pierced straight through his head. This was not just another horrific accident. This accident actually helped scientists around the world and saved millions of lives. Namaste. If you love science, do not forget to like and subscribe. Let's continue. The year is 1848. Phineas Gage was a 25-year-old railroad construction worker in USA. As you might know, the construction workers sometimes have to use explosives to blast large rocks to make way to lay new tracks. Gage was a railroad construction foreman. His role was to blast those large rocks to clear the path. On September 13, 1848, Gage and his co-workers made a hole in a large rock and filled it with explosives. But before detonating it, they had to pack the explosive powder perfectly so that it can explode more efficiently. So, Gage took an iron rod and he started beating the powder with it. But unfortunately, as he hit the explosive powder, it detonated prematurely and the big rod came flying back and went straight through his skull. The rod entered under the left cheek and exited through the top of his skull and then it went flying and landed several meters behind him. Just for context, that is exactly how guns work. There is a big explosion in the back and then the bullet goes flying straight forward. All of his co-workers were shocked because it was a big incident, but to everyone's surprise, Gage did not lose consciousness. Even shortly after the incident, he got up and even talked to some people, whereas everyone around him was in shock as they were able to see how badly injured he was. About 30 minutes later, Dr. John Martin Horlow arrived, but by then he had lost a lot of blood. and had also begun to lose consciousness dr martin patched the wound and also gave him some medicine to relieve his pain where he stayed in a state of partial coma for the next 10 days during that time he also developed fungal infection in the exposed part of his brain so some parts of his brain had to be surgically removed after about 10 days He woke up from coma and began healing very rapidly. He had also lost his left eye completely, but despite the severity of his injuries, Gage was seen walking around the town just one month after this incident. And what happened next truly shocked the scientific community. Even though he recovered physically, this injury completely changed his personality. Before this incident, Gage was a hard-working, responsible and a well-mannered individual, but after the injury, he became very erratic and impulsive. He kind of lost control over his actions. The people who knew him said that they no longer recognize him and he is no longer the same person that they knew. So, what really happened to Gage? Before I tell you that, you must know some scientific beliefs of 1848. Before this incident, Most scientists believe that our brain is just one big entity that is involved from everything from our behavior to our decision making and to even keeping our memories everything was being done by the brain as a whole even though scientists were able to really cut open the brain and see its different parts but they believed that all of these different parts were working together and they were equally responsible for all of our brain functions Turns out the iron rod had caused significant damage to some certain parts of Gage's brain, especially the frontal lobes. Gage's accident proved that damage to specific areas of the brain could lead to specific changes in it. Gage was extensively studied by the scientists. His privacy, his dignity were tarnished after this incident. He died 11 years later at the age of 36 due to seizure. and even after his death his skull and that rod were put on a display in a museum so that was the story of phineas gage if you want me to cover more such stories let me know in the comments below bye bye